Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how I use the uh, time spans for uh, complex exports in Harrison Mixbus. So I do a fair bit of music for television and film, as well as some live stems for um, touring artists to play along to, and such like. Um, sometimes you need multiple versions of a mix, or certainly um, mastered versions of stems. So how do you achieve that? Well, Mixbus has a really great way of doing this in terms of um, time spans. Now, really what we're trying to achieve here is I've got a mix, right? And I want to do uh, a version with just drums and bass. I want to do a version with uh, just bass and guitars, uh, just as an example of different things that you might want to export. So all I'm going to do is simply grab and duplicate my regions. Now obviously if you've got automation on these you'd have to make sure that duplicates as well. Um, but we're just showing you roughly how this works. You can do this with stems um, for, for mastering um, different versions of a mix or you can do it with the actual multi-tracks for the mix. So first up I am just going to select all of the um, regions in the time span of this mix here and I'm going to go region ranges add single range marker likewise I'm going to go here and go ranges add single range marker and I'm going to go ranges add single range marker so now we have regions one regions two regions three um, we can go into here and we can change this to full mix full mix um, then we can go uh, uh, kit and base then we can I'm, I'm working down here by the way um, and then I'm gonna say uh, base and and gets so that's bass and guitar so we now have ranges uh, for each of these um, and to export those, well, well, actually, first of all, let's tidy this up. We need to get rid of the um, guitars on that one. And that's just, uh, no, yep, that's just bass and guitars. So we need to get rid of the drums on that one. So if we play these back, which I won't do because it's copyright material, um, uh, you're, you would hear the full mix here. You would hear just the drum kit and the bass. You would hear the bass and the guitars. So all I do now is I export, and when I go into time spans, you will see that the full mix can be selected, the kit and bass, and the bass and guitars. So then I want to check, yeah, two channel, whatever the format I want to export as is, and then um, I can actually uh, make sure time span name will be uh, selected because um, it needs to do that essentially. But I could um, do snapshot name, so it'll be called stem export example full mix. Um, so I'm just going to export these, and what's happening is it's going through each individual. Uh, each individual mix and bouncing them out. So as you can see, we now have three exports. We've got an export with just the bass and guitars, we have an export with the full mix, and we have an export with the kit and bass. Now I tend not to actually do this, this is a little bit disingenuous, because I tend not to do this so often with a full mix. Um, I tend to do it uh, when I'm mastering, and I'm mastering uh, TV tracks or something. So the mastering uh, processing is essentially the same on uh, each of the stems, uh, each of the different possible configurations that we have. And I can quickly and efficiently just set up a project session that might have like 100 regions or something stupid like that, maybe 50 regions. It could be an hour and a half long in terms of bounce, bounce length. Uh, and I'll just run it overnight or I'll leave it running and go off and do something else or I will use another computer in the studio to, to do the bounce. Uh, so that's why regions, uh, sorry, ranges are so effective uh, for um, time span exports in Harrison Mixbus. Anyway, 
I hope that was useful. I will see you next time.